The three suspects in the Crystal Rogers case faced a judge this morning, and it is our top story here at noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jim Stratman. One of the accused, Steve Lawson, appeared with a new attorney and perhaps a new strategy. Ian Hardwood and photojournalist Jessica Farley were in the court early this morning, and he joins us in studio now with what happened during a pretty short hearing. That's right. Steve Lawson has maintained his right to keep interviews he gave to investigators essentially out of its upcoming trial. That's because of a Kentucky state statute that allows defendants to keep any statements given away during the plea bargaining process away from court. However, the judge has ordered some interviews given during the grand jury process will be admissible in court. This decision on evidentiary protection was one roadblock in deciding whether Steve Lawson's trial will be shared with his son, Joseph Lawson, and the third suspect in Crystal Rogers' disappearance, her ex-boyfriend, Brooks Houck. Houck's legal team wanted to use some of the interviews Steve gave to investigators against Steve. Steve's lawyers believe consolidating the trials isn't very likely now. I think it's going to be difficult for this court to grant a consolidation motion based on what we just elected. With that said, I'm sure the counsel for the other defendant is going to be quite in the same position that we are. The defendant he spoke of was Joseph Lawson, who will continue his virtual appearances in the courtroom going forward. Trials are expected to begin next February, though we don't know if they'll be consolidated or not. The judge has narrowed down the locations of where those would take place. That's Warren and Christian counties, but he didn't say when he would make that decision.